Say hi, Missy. Greet the people. Hi, people. <laughs> She's saying, fuck this. <laughs>
um, which is the more mild form <laughs> of bipolar. Basically, I'm not going to go on shopping sprees or kill people and then, you know, have psychotic breaks or whatever. Um, I don't stay up for days at a time, things like that. Used to, but that's because I was also a drunk. <laughs> um, technically, I was not. Uh, yeah, I was drunk. I can have like a small glass of wine every now and again and I'm fine. But I don't care to because I'm not interested. Um... So my consultation, as I mentioned, is on Tuesday and I'm really nervous about it because obviously we're going to go through like what to expect. Um, my mom's going to go with me. She's kind of looking forward to that. I don't know why. Um, we're looking at me being out of work for several weeks, which means several weeks more of stitching. Um, the money situation, obviously we're kind of worried about it, but not too much because we know that we'll be okay. Um, and, you know, the, the physical recovery, the mental recovery, everything like that, I'm prepared for. Um, hormones, I'm not quite yet there because I don't know what to expect. I have bipolar. And during my more hormonal times of the month, it can get pretty crazy. The last couple months haven't been too bad, except for my endometriosis keeping me out of work for three days. That sucked. And that's something that I mentioned to my primary when she went to go give me eight shots in my neck for to deal with my migraines, which have been doing really well. Um, uh, she got that referral to the doctor and she said, go see him. And I said, okay. So I've got the consultation on Tuesday and I'm nervous, but I'm excited. That being said, the reason why... Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Stupid scale. It's a liar. It is a liar. Um, he's changing the litter box and the scale was right behind the litter box and I didn't tell him. I didn't think it was important to mention it. But he found it. Um, anyway, so one thing that stitching has done for me is it's become my at-home therapy, obviously, and it has been for, for many years, but much more so to kind of keep me stabilized because obviously I see my therapist like once a week coming up to once every other week. Um, so it's been very, very helpful to have. And, it, and I've learned how to control my um, explosive rage. I've learned how to control, like when my, you know, when I get angry, when I get frustrated, when I get anxiety. One thing, and I recommend these, one thing that my therapist is letting me borrow for the next couple of weeks are called Touchpoint Buzzies. Oops. And these little things are amazing. You turn them on, alternating. I recommend alternating. And you hold them in your hands for just a couple minutes. It doesn't even take that long. And then, But be careful that you don't hold them on for too long because you can like short circuit your brain. I did that the other day. It was great. It was freaking hilarious. There we go. Um, and it helps. It basically like rewires your brain. Helps with anxiety, depression, stress, whatever. It's amazing. Amazing. So um, this is why I'm really glad that I have my stitching, that I have my husband, that I have anime um, and my job um, because otherwise I'd probably be, and my friends obviously, because otherwise I'd be nine billion times worse mentally with everything that's going on. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there and let you guys know what's going on and what to expect. I don't know um, during the times that I'll, well, I'll probably will, but during my recovery time, obviously I'll be home for six weeks, which means a lot of stitching, as I mentioned. Um, hopefully I'll be able to still do the bi-weeklies, uh, but as I get closer to surgery, I'll let you guys know what to expect from my videos. A lot of stitching, but time frame, obviously. But when all of that comes, we'll get there. Um, this is also kind of like a PSA of, you know, there's a lot that people go through that a lot of people don't understand or don't, can't relate to, or, um, you know, I'm not saying be a hundred percent, um, you know, all up in everybody's business or, or sensitive to everybody else. Don't change yourself to suit somebody else's mood. Um, I just want people to understand that, that 
we are all human and we all have things that are going on. And for us in our stitching community, this is what we have to deal with it. And then we have all of you guys to kind of say, hey, I'm a human and I'm dealing with this and it fucking sucks, but I'll be okay. I'll be fine. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that just because I'm bipolar, just because um, I'm dealing with a horribly painful issue chapter in my life does not make me any less of a human being and nobody should be treated specially or less than a human simply because they're dealing with certain things. Um, this does not mean I need trigger warnings every time you guys mention your kids or whatever. They're your kids. You should love your kids. You should be proud that you have kids. Some of us can't have kids. That doesn't mean that you can't talk to us. You can't um, have conversations. Tell me about your kids. Um, but understand that, yes, at the same time, I do have a little bit of sorrow because I can't have kids. That doesn't mean I'm not going to talk to you or want to be your friend because you have children. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway... Um, not everybody needs to be handled with kid gloves and those that do, I, I kind of, let's be fair, I don't have a whole lot of patience with because eh, why do I have to watch everything that I say and do? Really? Um, but at the same time, understand that there are people who do have a lot to go with and, you know, please, if you're going to comment about this part of the video, I'm, I'm happy to read your comments. I love your comments. Please do not put like things like. God has another plan for you, or you could always blah, or this, 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 this. I've heard it already in the past year enough that it drives me to a therapist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you don't have to say that, but you know, just, I, I, I appreciate thoughts and prayers. I appreciate good vibes. I appreciate all of that. The fact that you're just be like, dude, that sucks, but I hear you. Or something like that. I think that means more to somebody than some tired old cliche. To me. That's how I feel about it. On that note, we are now officially 12 minutes into the video. And I am going to get into the stitching first. We've got finish. We have a finish. We have whips. We've got haul. And then at the end, I'm going to give you the stats for February and the plans beginning today onward. Um, well, at least for the next two weeks. So I want to thank you guys for listening to all of that um, rambling bit of stuff. Um, I'm going to get started doing what we actually are here to do, which is talk about stitching. Let's talk about stitching. Okay. We have a finish. We love finishes here on Floss Tube. X stitch tube, stitchy tube, whichever one you want to call this. I call my videos X stitch videos because a long time ago um, I was at odds with the floss tube community just with how things were going at the time. But technically, anybody who's on here doing anything about cross stitch is just kind of subtly into floss tube, even though we don't call ourselves floss tubers. And that's fine, whatever. I'm not going to stop watching floss tube because I disagree with somebody. Just stop watching that one person. You don't have to watch everybody. Just saying. Anyway, so finish. I'm dancing on my soapbox today. So the the uh, focus that I had for the month of February was All American Santa. Um, it is a pattern that is, I didn't bring the book with me because I put it away. Didn't need it anymore. Um, it's called An All American Celebration. What? There's a cat outside the door just yelling just because she can. Come here! Messy! God, stop yelling at people. It's called an All American Celebration. It was a pattern that was released by Leisure Arts. It was in a holiday book. I think it was volume 8. <sighs> Missy's just crying for no apparent reason. I spent a grand total. I took it out because. Yeah, I took I took that page out and put it into the thingy. But I spent a grand total of three days. All the hours and minutes I spent s stitching on this thing accumulated to a roughly approximately three total days of stitching on this. 
I finished it on the 28th of February. I have it right here. And I am so super happy with how it turned out. Without further IG, here we go. This was stitched on 32 count. The thingy pet fell off opal. Opalescent cashew linen by hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. Ooh, here we go. Enchanted was the name of the fabric. Sorry. Check it out. So it's hard to tell, but instead of stitches, because where these things are, let's see. They're actually charted to just be regular cross stitches, but I didn't want to do that. I, me and Dane, discussed and decided that beads would make it much more uh, visually appealing. And he is absolutely right. Um, over here, the beads that I ordered were about five times the size, and I, but I was really glad that I had um, these size uh, beads in my stash. I absolutely love this, and I can't wait to finish this for this Christmas. Um, we already know how we're going to do it, but in the meantime, it's going to go in the bag of little finishes. Love that little flag. Doing the gifts was a lot faster than I expected, and backstitching everything took no time at all. Really, I mean, it looks more daunting on the pattern than it really is, and I recommend this pattern to everybody. Um, so yeah, I'll let you get it a little, little bit closer. I love how the opalescent really gives it that more magical feel, that more starry night. It really does look like he's flying in a night sky, you know, on a Christmas Eve, delivering packages to all the good, good children. And even some of the bad children who pretended to be good for a short time. Like me. So yes, I am very, 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 very proud of that. It was a little fun stitch to do. Uh, you know, three, if like if I stitched, can, you know, <clears throat> nonstop was on drugs, three days. <laughs> that, you know, I don't recommend that, but yeah. Because drugs are bad. Okay. But anyway, there's my finish. I'm really happy about it. I love finishes. Everybody should love finishes. Um, which is going to lead us into our whips. Do you fucking mind? Come here, crybaby. This little thing. She's standing on my notebook. Do you mind going away, please? Thank you. All right, let's just get into whips. <laughs> okay. So when last we spoke two weeks ago today, um, I was going to, was getting started on Butterfly Forest from the Gold Collection, Dimensions Gold Collection, uh, charted by, well, obviously charted by, but designed by Punch Studio. And this is what it will look like when it is completed. Roughly. I like to put the blended blended flosses into flossway bags and keep them with the project. So, because I don't have the, I know I could put them together with zip ties or whatever, but meh. So, this is what I do with my blended floss for particular projects and just write it down and then put the symbol and if it's not clear I write it down like like this one black x pink box that's how I don't you just love my organizational skills they're amazing anyway there you go that's how far I got last time you saw it it was just the butterfly had gotten done um, I got 
all of the background in and I have started on the um, flowers. So I just got started on the leaves. I was watching it invaded when I got that done, which by the way, good show. You're into anime crop dramas. It's really cool. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, and then you can see the outline of a couple of the butterflies. So very cool. Uh, goal on this is really for it to be a focus, um, but I would love to get it finished this year. I think it would be fun to finish it this year. That would be super. <coughs> After that, all of this, um, it was the last few days of the month. I finished All American Santa on that last day. Not really, because it was a leap year this year. So on the end, the like the last. How much time did I actually spend on it that night? Two, uh, two and a half hours of the 28th, and then I spent, and then the next day on the 29th, which was the leap year day, I decided to have a marathon. Not really thinking in my brain, oh, this is going to be like how I observe the leap year, or how I'm going to do this extra year, was, I'm going to have a marathon, but I wound up having a marathon stitching day. I stitched for 14 hours and 12 minutes, and I was delirious by the time I was done. So obviously, any time that a focus piece gets done, I work on my 2020 filler focus, which is Legend of Dragoon. Which I don't know this is what it'll look like, more or less, when it's done. Um, the M the pattern was designed on PC Stitch 10 um, from the Prima's official strategy guide for the game Legend of Dragoon. It is not it, it obviously this is copyright. <laughs> I'm not making the pattern for anybody in your you know, and this is only for use for myself. Because I have to say all of that. So that's what it'll more or less look like when it's done. I got so much. I probably got twice as much done as I expected to do. Like, honestly. I expected to do, like, finish the column I was done on and then work and then finish one more column. And I did. And then got, like, 80% of the next column done. So I am literally halfway through the page. I got a lot of background in, which it's just a lot of blues and greens and grays and so yeah, I'm expecting obviously to get this page finished this month and you'll see why here in a second. So, and as a reminder, this is the whole thing. Like really, this, I mean, this is, <laughs> the goals on this, I think I under, I under gold myself. Because apparently you can do that. Where I said, I'm just going to get four pages done and finish this row of pages. With the way things are going, not only will I fill it, finish this current row of pages, but I very well will begin the next row of pages. I hope so anyway. So. So, yeah. There's that. Awesomeness. And thus ended February. Goodbye, February 2020. Then we went into March. And at the on the last day of the month, um, I always choose my focus for the next month. And through the Amazing Wheels app on my Kindle, my hair is getting so long. And I'll talk about I'm chopping this all off at the end of the month. I'm so excited. It got long, but now it's just like, mm, I'm ready for a change. That's all it is. It's, it's not that I hate my hair. I'm just ready for a change. So, I'll let it be down for now. So, the Amazing Wheels app chose uh, Butterfly Fairy from um, Dimensions. This is, she is also known as Anna. Um, she's being done for my friend. She knows I'm doing it for her. She has seen it in bits and pieces uh, the last week because obviously I take it to work to work on <laughs> um, during um, my lunch and breaks. Um, the script there is May You Touch Dragonflies, Dance with Fairies, and Talk to the Moon. We are a week in. Oh, this is designed by Julie Fain, who is a beautiful designer. I gotta say, I love her designs. We are a week in. You guys, it's almost done. Look at this. I just have to finish in. Fill in Anna herself, the mushroom, this little bit of black here, the reflection down here, and then do all the backstitching. 
Um, is it going to get done this weekend? No. <laughs> no. And I'm fine with that. Um, but I think this week. I think in a week it'll be finished. That would be cool. Um, I mean, I've got all month. True. But it's not going to take all month to finish her. Like at all. And then once she's done, I go right back to Legend of Dragoon. So, like, you guys really seriously, like, this is, like, beautiful. Look at these colors. They are just amazing. The thing that I'm going to hate the most, of course, is going to be all of the um, backstitching of the grass that's down there. But, yeah. Um, I have been stitching this in the ditch on my Q-snap, which basically means that instead of the project facing out, it's going into the Q-snap to make the this particular brand of Ada um, easier to work with. Now my hair is getting irritating, so I'm going to put it back up. Put it back up in a clippy. <sighs> Dane is playing... Fallout? Four, I think. I don't know. It's the, it's the one where he's got a pit boy and he does things. So anyway, that's how much I've gotten done in the last week. <laughs> I mean, really. That's amazing. That is amazing amount of work. So I'm very, very, very impressed with that. So I'll be putting that right back on to the Q-snap so that I can work on her later tonight. Um, March began with all booked up the very last part of this um, series. Um, the design is by Emma Congdon. This is from the Cross Stitcher October 2017 issue. I'm doing the pillow right now. I read past my bedtime and even Dane's like, yeah, you do. It's true. So that's what I'm working on. That's what it's charted to look like. I say this because that's not how it's going to look. At least, that's not what the colors I'm using. Where is it? Okay, so this is the top. I'm doing this in JMP code. Some really bright oranges, reds, yellows. Um, because I want this thing to just be... There you go. Now you can see it. Um, just pop. Let me tell you what the most boring part of this entire project is so far. I don't need to tell you. You can see it. It's the fucking border. It is so boring. But it's so easy to keep with the pattern because it's just, you know, it's all the same. You know what I mean? It's all the same. It's all the same. So once that border is done, oh, I'm so happy. I can get into the actual piece itself. So guaranteed if this is a focus this year, it'll be finished. But I expect to finish it this year anyway. So. That's the pillow. I mean, that's going to be really, really cool. Um, next, and the last, most recent one that I've worked on is the Winter Wildlife Stocking from Stony Creek Collection. Uh, Stockings 1 book. This is the one that I'm working on. There you go. I am doing this for my husband, even though he says, Honey, I love the stocking you made for me very several years ago. Like, I know, but I want to do a new one. And he's like, fine. So, that's what it's supposed to look like when it's done. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. And that's where I've gotten to. I finished off the trees while watching Inuyasha and got started working on the moose while I've been watching March Comes In Like a Lion, which this third season is looking to be back out in October. That's too far away because that show is just so much fun. So, Dan asked, what do I want for my birthday? And I said, I want the entire complete collection of Inuyasha. Just saying. And he's like, um, let's not do this. <laughs> but I want it. Anyway, so this is how far I got. I was hoping to finish this off, um, finish the mousse um, by the end of yesterday. But obviously I made dinner and um, we took two naps because we were just so tired. The week really just drained us. I love how, how that border is sparkling. That rainbow... Rainbow glistening glass, whatever, really does give it that that extra little thing. So that's where I'm at. Go on this to finish it. 
that would be awesome. So there's that. There's that. So what am I going to be working on next? Um, what I start on today, basically as soon as this afternoon, as soon as I'm finished with um, this video, um, I will be working on Vintage Mermaid from X Stitch Cross Stitch Designs. I got this book from Amazon. This is what she'll look like when she's done. She's currently living in my project bag that I actually kind of finished off myself. These uh, little tags you can get in the bakery set baking section of Hobby Lobby. Put them on like party favors or whatever. And this is where I'm at. I can pretty much almost guarantee that this page will be finished. I hope this routine, this rotation, that would be really super awesome to get that page finished. So, so yeah, that's what I'll be working on today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. So there's that. All right. Keep that out there too. All right. So that takes care of all of the whips, which means now we're going into the hall. I have a dog on my feet. I have a pregnant dog on my feet right now. She is just like every two feet, she just flops down. Anyway, haul. Let's do it haul. Okay, haul. Oh, my hair. Stupid hair. I'm going to cut you off. Okay, so this is how much I love going to the mail very infrequently. Um, the very next day after I did my video, we went and checked the mail, and I got my uh, fabric, fabric of the Month from Fortnite Fabrics, which has the card with the incorrect spelled stitch. These are going to be collector's items. Watch. Uh, this is on 32 count linen. I think this is lilac. I am doing the colored... God, look at that. Jesus, that's beautiful. It's actually a much more vibrant purple than what is showing up, but you know how this all works. But still, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm doing fat quarters, and like I said, this is 32 count linen, so. Got my fabric of the month! I already paid for March. I'm so excited. I think it's dandelion. I think Christian said that's what it is coming up, which makes sense. What is my freaking... Yeah, it is a dandy... No. Whatever. I don't know what my months... Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so yes, that's going to be really pretty. They've already showed us a sample of what it's going to look like, and it's going to be so pretty. So pretty! Um, when we went out of town... I forgot to show these the last time when, when we were out of town and um shopping at these are from hot topic yep hot topic. these are some pins that we're gonna make into needle miners there's toothless and the white the light fury sorry you can't really see we're gonna make these into needle miners and then a stabby little penguin love me a stabby little penguin <laughs> Um, I ordered some things online, and I don't remember why, because I could. Um, I got some, I got a needle miter, or I ordered a needle miter from Denkai Designs on Etsy. I absolutely love Denkai's um, needle miters, and I got toothless. Isn't he just adorable? So adorable. And then, of course, I got a freebie. With the butterfly. Thank you, Dan Guy. I love these little freebies. These are so cool. I love butterflies, so it worked out really well. And then on Amazon, I got me a Mail Hell Buttons and Beads Winter Series Holiday Delivery. Yeah, there you go. Because I really love these designs. These are really cute, simple. I mean, it's a lot of beads, obviously. Okay, you can't see the pattern at all. 
but it's a lot of beads. It's got all of the floss. The only thing I don't like about patterns like this is that you have to separate the floss. Call me lazy, but I don't want to have to figure out which one's light pink and medium pink and whatever. Just have it already separated for me, please. I'm a lazy individual. So that's the haul. Not a lot. I have something coming in the mail tomorrow that is semi-stitch. Well, it's stitching related, but it's not a stitching object. Um, I want to show you this real quick. I've had this binder. This is holding, like each binder holds eight uh, projects, but see that? That's bad. <laughs> Um, and not only that, but like the tabs are kind of breaking off because they're not protected. You know, I, I carry these things around with like, like, for example, Legend of Dragoon, which is about to become, um, the focus that it takes work. It just kind of like, these things are not stable in there. So I ordered me a new four inch zipper binder that I'm going to put all of my patterns into. And I'm actually looking forward to that because not only can I put all of my patterns into it, but we also worked out that I can put, um, you know, just the floss that I need for whatever I'm working on at that point. Um, and, you know, all the other stuff. So looking forward to that. So anyway, that's hauls. That's hauls. That's all. So uh, lastly, we are going to go ahead and talk about the stats and the plans online. Okay. So for the month of February, um, I totaled up all of the time that I've been that I stitched for the month of February. Um, I am participating in the 24 hour extreme challenge this year, um, which is the ABC challenge. You fit a project to a letter of the alphabet, you make goals and you meet those goals. Um, to keep it simple, basically like 24 hours, I think, or whatever, basically what I did, that's what I did. I made goals for 24, 27 technically projects and my goal is to meet as many of those goals as possible. I would like to complete 24 out of 26. So far, I have completed, I think I'd be a little bit more prepared, three, three down, not bad, and I'm so close to a fourth, so close. Um, I am keeping a bullet journal, um, and just for an example, here's Anna, Butterfly Fairy. These are all of the goals that I have set out for her. This is the dates that I've been stitching on her and the time. Um, once I finish it and if the project gets finished, I tear it out and put it with um, the finished book. The book of finishes, basically, like in its plastic sleeve. That's just how I'm doing it. Because I realized I'm not even using half of this book. Hi, what's up? Did you come say hi again? Hi again. Um, which means I can use it again next year. To And I like the idea of having goals and trying to meet them. If you don't meet them, big deal. Try again later. But it is nice to see how far you can get with goals, with your projects. It's just a nice visual for me to see where I'm at, what I'm doing, all that other fun stuff. Want to get off my lap, please? I would appreciate it if you get off my lap. Go away. Get wee wee. I'm busy. I'm busy. Cat owners, you guys know this. Whatever, cat. <laughs> anyway, so for the month of February, total stitching time. Six days, five hours, 21 minutes, give or take. That's pretty good. I know that when I am in recovery, you know, home recovering for, her tail is a weapon, um, recovering for my surgery that during those six weeks, that number is going to be exorbitant um, for that short amount of time and then go right back down. But, 
hey, six days, five hours, 21 minutes for the month of February, which is a shorter month. That's pretty, pretty incredible. Pretty freaking incredible. What am I working on for the month of March? What are you doing? Pick a spot and sit there. Please. You're a little asshole. So this is my focus book. This is what March looks like. All booked up. Winter wildlife stocking have been done this month. Um, did I complete them? No. Obviously not. Vintage Mermaid is coming up. And then Castle Guardian. Wedding Sampler. March Mira. Many Soaring Free 2. And then Legend of Dragoon. Um, Butterfly Fairy obviously is the focus of the month. Um, which is going to be done in about a week. Pretty sure it will be done in about a week. Um, what I would like to do also... For the month of March. March is also my birthday. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I have a hashtag going called hashtag the demon is a stitching baby or no. Let's try that again. The demon is a spring baby B day so. Um, all you have to do to participate is stitch on something um, that is related to the season of your birth, month of your birth, uh, your birthstone, whatever. Doesn't matter. And you can do it all year long or just in that season. It's completely up to you. It's really fun to see what um, people are stitching on so far. Quit smacking me with your tail. Um, I know Jesse Marie, Belinda, um, Joan, Joni. Um, there's a couple of other people who are participating and I thank you guys for participating. Like I said, it's all year long. So you guys can participate at any point. Um, so yeah, that's that's the major major thing going on this month. March is apparently when all stitchers are born because we have at least five people celebrating birthdays this month. There's definitely me, Jesse Marie, Emily, and I think there's several others that I'm not following currently. Doesn't mean I won't. Um, who also have birthdays and they also have their birthday sales. Um, it's nice to know that March is a really popular month to do us out. So I've been getting a lot of really cool comments about that. Thank you guys. That is my favorite so far. Um, and I think you guys saw Kilala too. Uh, we are not a nerd household. I don't know if you guys recognize, realize that, but now you do. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. What do I plan on doing just for the next two weeks? I think I mentioned it, but I will remind you guys. In the next two weeks is Vintage Mermaid, Castle Guardian, Wedding Sampler, and the March Mirror. Um, yeah. And then after that, I will come back and, and let you guys know what's going on as far as stitching and all that other fun stuff. I would like to do a stitch with me again. But time and circumstance and whatever is just... Hey, Mama, what are you doing? Uh, it's just not allowing it to happen. Um, but eventually, it would be nice to do a stitch with me. If you guys would like to see those again, let me know. I'll gladly do one. Why not? Um, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching it all the way to the end. I think this thing lasted about 40 minutes. I don't know. You know. You can see the timestamp below. I can't. Um, trying to think if there's anything I forgot. Sandy, did I forget anything? Hmm. Hi, Missy. Missy, did I forget anything? Probably did. Um, thank you again for coming back liking, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet and you like what you saw and you'd like to see more and you'd like to be notified of the madness that is this video, ring that bell. Once you've hit ring that bell, hit that bell. Once you've hit subscribe and be notified of all of my upcoming stuff. Um, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, it is at nm underscore stitching underscore demon. Um, and again, the hashtag that's going on right now on Instagram is hashtag the demon is a spring baby bee day. B 
happy day. So, and I'll put that stuff below too. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your, for your kindness, for your being there. Um, like really, I, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, even just a, a hi, hello, and, um, thanking me for doing <laughs> these things. I really appreciate it. And it does mean a lot. Um, I wish you guys all the best the next two weeks. I am nervous. And like I said, nervous, um, not so much the surgery itself. I think it's just more, you know, it's surgery, major surgery. And I've never had major surgery outside of getting all four of my wisdom teeth removed. So I think that's what I'm nervous about. Otherwise, you know, this is, I'm, I'm prepared. I am looking to the future. This is one chapter that's being closed and another chapter that's being opened. And if anybody out there who watches my videos is going through the same thing or knows anybody that's going through the same thing, realize that you're not alone. It's, it's a scary thing, but again, this is a chapter that's closing and another chapter that's opening. And it doesn't mean that life is over. And it just means that the path that we thought we were on or the path that we are on isn't as straight as we expected it to be. And that's fine. That's fine. Life is not black and white. And the path we set before us, get off my coat. Is <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. The path that we set before us isn't always going to be what we expected it to be. And that's okay. And just make sure that, you, you know, when, when you're going through whatever horrible thing that you're going through, it's very, go away. It's really nice to have people around who love you and support you and are there for you. Um, whether it's one person or 11 people or a hundred people, it doesn't matter. Have some, having somebody there makes all the difference. Um, I, I highly, I can't, there's a brunt to become a taco. Stop. It's because she's not getting into any attention. So of course she has to start playing with things. <sighs> Are you done? Jeez. Melissa Cross. <sighs> On that note. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all that floss tubes jazz. You guys have a great two weeks. I will see you again. My laundry's done. Bye!